Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Funko Pop Vinyl Masters of the Universe lineup. Haha, <laughs> that is right! It's one of my favorite lines to collect right now. I love Funko's Pop Vinyl line. So of course, you know how excited I was when I found out that He-Man and the Masters of the Universe were going to get the Pop Vinyl treatment. So we're going to take a look at the first releases from the new Masters of the Universe Pop Vinyl lineup. As you can see, all of the figures come in the standard Funko Pop vinyl boxes, but they do have a little bit of a Masters of the Universe flair. You can see it's got that very familiar Masters of the Universe Classics packaging look, where you can kind of see that yellow sky with the moon up at the top of the box and the green gray skull bricks along the bottom. Then of course we also have some nice little artwork depicting the Pop vinyl versions of each of the characters right there in the lower corner of the boxes. So, this series of Masters of the Universe Pop Vinyl figures includes He-Man and his nemesis Skeletor, She-Ra and her nemesis Hordak, and S Spikor, for some reason. <laughs> but I'm not complaining. I think it's awesome that we got a random character like Spikor in the Pop Vinyl treatment. You'll notice that these are numbered 17 through 21 as part of Funko's Pop Television lineup. And the back of the box shows off all of those little figures that are in this line, as well as some cool artwork of Castle Grayskull in the background. So if you've never seen Funko's Pop Vinyl line before, basically the normal look for these characters is the larger heads with the smaller bodies, and the iconic look for the Funko Pop Vinyl line are the round eyes, which are usually black. You will notice, of course, though, that some of the eyes on these characters are slightly different to match up with the personal characters. For instance, both Skeletor and Hordak have evil red eyes, and Spikor has bright yellow eyes, just like his action figure counterpart. The designs on these guys are really cool. I, I just love the Pop Vinyl line as a whole, and I've been collecting them for quite some time now, and I just think that these translations of the He-Man characters worked out really well. They're painted pretty good for the most part. I don't really have any bad scuffing or bad paint jobs or anything like that. The only place I come close is on She-Ra. There is a little nick underneath her left eye there, uh, but it's not so bad. Everybody else looks pretty good through and through. The colors are all nice and bright and vibrant, and all of them do a really good job of matching their action figure counterparts. Or, in the case of Hordak here, you'll notice that he matches the Filmation version of Hordak, which is fantastic. He's got the blue skin and the armor that looks just like it appeared in the cartoon series, as opposed to the gray skin that we normally see on the action figure. So, I'm actually really happy that they went with the Filmation version of Hordak here. I think that's very, very cool. All of them have a little uniqueness going on there. For instance, He-Man's holding on to the power sword in his right hand. She-Ra's holding on to her power sword in her right hand, and you can even see the little blue gem on it. And Skeletor's grasping on to his Havoc staff. Also has a very filmation look, so very, very cool stuff there. Now with these guys just being small vinyl figures, there's not a lot of articulation or anything like that going on. Basically, the only thing you're going to get is the ability to turn the heads left and right. They don't move otherwise, but they do all have a good job of balancing on their own. Uh, She-Ra is the only one who has a little bit of a balance issue because her body's so small, but she still stands on her own. She's just a little wobbly. Otherwise, everything looks really good with these guys. They balance really well, and even with turning the head, you can still get some different posing variations out of them, so you can have them opposing each other on your shelf. Alright guys, it's comparison time. Just to give you an idea of the style and the scale of these, here's the He-Man Pop Vinyl figure, standing alongside his vintage He-Man action figure counterpart, and the Masters of the Universe Classics action figure. I am a really big fan of these figures. I think they are a lot of fun. I know I keep talking about how I'm a big collector of the Funko Pop Vinyl line, and one of the reasons I'm such a big collector of these is just the crazy amount of characters they've been able to include. I mean, the variety is so huge right now. I mean, just look at some of the characters we get all done in this exact same style. I think that's pretty incredible and really makes for a fun collection to have on your toy shelf. I was so incredibly excited when I saw that Masters of the Universe was getting the pop vinyl treatment, and I've got to say that I'm definitely satisfied with these. In fact, I would love to see more of these. I hope this is not the only He-Man and the Masters of the Universe characters we're going to see get the pop vinyl treatment. 
So Funko's Pop Vinyl Masters of the Universe figures are available in stores right now, so happy hunting, and until next time.